using SRDS to find information on media outlets. When you're creating a media or marketing plan, you'll probably have questions about available media outlets. Maybe you want to know what's available to people in a given geographic region, such as Madison or Milwaukee. Maybe you're working for a national company selling hiking and outdoors gear, so you need to find some new outlets to advertise to outdoors enthusiasts. We can use the library database SRDS to find media outlets and costs to advertise in them. Our subscription to SRDS includes broadcasts, both TV and radio, newspapers, consumer magazines, and websites. Not all websites, but the sites associated with the aforementioned magazines, newspapers, etc. In SRDS, you can search for one specific media outlet if you know the name of it. However, browsing in the media categories is often more useful because it informs you about the less well-known media outlets, too. Start in whatever broad category of media you want to explore. Let's start with digital websites. We often want to start by limiting to the DMA if available. DMA stands for Designated Market Area, and these exist for nearly every major market area in the country. For the DMA of Madison, Wisconsin, I'm going to see websites associated with the magazine Midwest Living, various local radio stations, newspapers, magazines, and more. Click on the title of one of these. You'll see some general detail about the site and brand positioning. Under Audience Metrics, you'll get a good idea of what population you would be reaching by advertising on this web page. For example, for the Madison Capital Newspapers website, the page readers skew more heavily toward males and those over age 35 compared to users on the rest of the Internet. Under Programmatic Opportunities, you can start to see advertising costs for this particular website. CPM means Cost Per Thousand Impressions. Back on the Results page, I can also filter on the left. Business or consumer classes means filtering by what broad category the viewers of this site might be interested in. Search by audience demographics or unique visitors lets you set criteria. For example, maybe I'm seeking out digital websites in which persons age 35 to 44 are at least 20% of their audience. You'll want to play around with the filters until you get some useful results. In the other media categories, such as newspapers or magazines, you'll find varying filters depending on how that media channel segments its population. Newspapers are almost always local market focused, so in that area you'd want to limit by the DMA again. Consumer magazines are usually nationwide publications, so DMA is not available, but instead here you'll want to select by the consumer classes, i.e. the general interests of their readers. So perhaps for a company selling outdoors gear, I'd see what magazines are listed for categories such as fishing and hunting, or perhaps nature and ecology, or camping. Again, the detail page for any one of these will list specifics about the audience metrics, circulation, and rates and policies for placing advertisements. Under Broadcast TV or Radio, there's a special feature here called Squad Cost Per Point Reports. These are reports for how much it costs to advertise on a TV or radio station in a specific geographic market during a specific time slot. The numbers reflect that media's local penetration rate and general viewership. When you click on the squad reports for your specific geographic area, you'll see the CPP for the most recent four quarters for different time slots. To get the final cost for airing an ad during a particular show, you'd need to multiply the squad CPP times the Nielsen rating for a particular show. For more information on squad CPP levels and how to find Nielsen ratings, check out the How to Find Advertising Rates Guide. Don't hesitate to contact the library with any questions.